evidence whatsoever that she had a firearm. And so that it just didn't fit. A jury rejects the idea that Aldrich Scott feared for his life and that he was defending himself from Carrie Allen inside of her home more than a year ago. He's found guilty of murder and he'll spend the rest of his life in prison. Carrie Allen's family feels relief tonight that this chapter of the case is now over. Brian Mastry tonight on the reaction after the guilty verdict. Do you have anything to say, Aldrich? Aldrick Scott had nothing to say after deputies led him away in handcuffs, guilty of murder. The jury didn't buy his two hours of testimony last week claiming self-defense. The weight of the uncertainty of a trial is over for Carrie Allen's family. Does this feel like justice for you? There is no justice here. I mean, nothing's going to bring Carrie back. Um, it is I mean, just following the crime he did and the punishment that the you know, is deemed, you know, reasonable for what he did. So justice, it's kind of funny because they're, you know, you're not bringing Carrie back. There really is no justice. Brett Allen is Carrie's ex-husband. He testified on the first day to Carrie Allen's big heart, caring for mentally challenged adults who would come to her home and how she would never own a gun. Their 16-year-old son, Brennan, said the same on the witness stand. Wonderful caretaker, even better mother. How is he doing now? He is absolutely amazing. Um, he's, he's been my rock through this. Um, for what he's had to go through and the way he's come out of it, um, it's nothing short of a miraculous miracle. I mean, he is strong, um, but I mean, you can tell that he definitely misses his mom. Aldrich Scott, an ex-Marine, admitted to many pieces of evidence during the week-long trial, following Carrie Allen's shared location on Snapchat, parking a couple blocks away after driving up from Kansas. He showed up unannounced, patched the bullet holes in the wall, threw away evidence, and buried her in Kansas. His whole story centered on Carrie threatening him and the gun going off during a struggle where he said he feared for his life. It was so ludicrous that it was almost comical in some parts of it. Um, um, again, us that knew Carrie knew that the story that they had come up with was absolutely in no way possible or feasible. Um, so we just prayed and hoped that uh, the jury would see it as, as we knew it to be. Investigators searched for Carrie Allen for more than a month without any success in late 2022. If not for Aldrich Scott's OnStar GPS location data pointing to this abandoned farmhouse in Topeka, Kansas, she may never have been found. And prosecutors admit this trial would have looked a whole lot different. On your side in Omaha, Brian Mastry, 6 News. Altogether, Scott, who was arrested in Central America, was found guilty on three felonies, murder, use of a gun, and tampering with evidence. He'll be sentenced in May. A first-degree murder conviction is automatically life in prison. The second